back to my channel. My name is April if this is your first time here. And in today's video, we are going to do this look right here using the I Love Set It Heat Times Dose of Color palette. I wanted to give you a different look than what I normally do, which is light to dark, maybe a cut crease in the eye. Um, today I'm using teals on the lid, a little bit of smokiness, some lightness in the teardrops, tear ducts, whatever this part of your eye is. <laughs> Um, and of course, I'm keeping it neutral on the lips. Uh, but before we get into this video, please don't forget to comment below. Let me know you are here. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know when I'm uploading. I'm usually more of a like late night uploader. So when you're getting dressed in the morning, um, you can turn on this video while you're doing your makeup. You can do your makeup while I'm doing my makeup. We can do our makeup together as a team, like a unit. Um, and just uh, let me know you were here. Let me know if there's any other looks you want to see. All right, we're going to stop rambling and we're going to get into the video. Watch the video. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a different look today. Instead of my light to dark that I usually do, I'm going to do more of a halo eye today. And I'm still going to use the I Love Setty Heat and Dose of Color palette. I'm going to take my 224 brush and then I'm going to take the color loungy which is this shade right here and as usual I'm just gonna sweep that in my crease Next, I'm going to take my 217 brush, and this is by MAC as well, and then I'm going to take the color Wonderlust, which is right here, and I'm going to go right in the center of my crease and swish back and forth. I'm going to take a different 224 brush and I'm going to take the color Finders Keepers, which is this black shade right here. And I'm going to just pack it on the inner and outer corner of my eye. And I'm doing more of like a pressing motion than um, a sweeping motion. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I'm gonna take a 27, no. This is a 219 by Matt, which is a pencil brush. And I'm gonna do the inner corner. I'm going to take uh, 221 by MAC and just kind of sweep that crease and kind of like bring the inner and outer corner together. So to look something like this. Okay, so now that we have that done, I am going to cut the crease, well, not the crease, just the center of my lid. Um, and I'm gonna use my ColourPop concealer in the shade Medium 24. And I'm gonna just take a little bit of that onto my hand. And then I'm gonna use a 248 brush, this is also by MAC. I like this because it's more of like a dome shape instead of like a straight across. Um, and then I'm just gonna take that And you can see I already kind of left like a circle in the middle where I want the next shade to stand out. They're a little uneven, but it's okay. 
it is okay. Um, so I want to take sun glow and put that in the middle, but I know everyone's gonna be like, why didn't you do the teal? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the teal, which is Palma. And I'm gonna take that on a flat 242 brush. And this is also by MAC. I am spraying it with a little bit of Fix Plush. I, oh, Plush. With a little bit of Fix Plus, I always spray my shimmer shadows with Fix Plus. It just kind of like adheres better to me. This color is so pretty. But it's so. This is so much color. It's so pretty though. I'm just not used to wearing so much color on my eyes anyway. I mean, or even on my lips. Like, I'm so, so nude. I'm so boring with my makeup. So now I'm just going back with the finders keepers because the teal is like really wide. I'm just going back and kind of uh, taking some that some of that teal away. Now I'm trying to think, do I want to do a winged liner? I feel like I shouldn't, but then I feel like if I don't, I'm going to look at it black like, hmm. Alright, right now I'm just going to take my um, brush black brush stroke by MAC and I'm going to just do a line. First, I'm going to just do a line. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop MAC and Blur Primer. And then I'm gonna go in with my Max uh, Pore Refining Stick, just right here. And then, as usual, I'm gonna set it with my powder, my Maybelline Fit Me powder. foundation today I'm gonna to go in with two uh, different colors of the Maybelline super stay super stay foundation stick yeah yeah that's what I thought super super stay that's it oh here it is multi-use foundation stick um, these were like $11.99 at Ulta I believe these are the newest uh, complexion products that Maybelline has came out with I got the shade 334 and 356. Now I don't normally wear um, cream foundation because I'm oily, so I always feel like it's just gonna make me oilier. But I decided to try these. I got these about two weeks ago, so I've been wearing them for about two weeks and I actually really like it. I'm gonna take 334 in the center, like right under my eyes, and then I'm going to take 356 on the outside of my face. I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and blend it out. 
they need to come out with like a shade in between because 334 is a little too light but 356 is like a little too orange well not orange but it's a little warm and I also feel like 334 is a little bit drier in texture which I don't know if I like like what's going on right here Yeah, something's weird's happening. Like right, like right here, it's like crumbling. I'm gonna take that off. I don't know, that one kind of like started crumbling under my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with 356. because it's a lighter shade or I don't know but the 334 started kind of crumbling under my eyes it was really dry so right now I'm just taking my Born This Way uh, sculpting concealer by Too Faced and I'm just gonna conceal with that and then this is in the color Butterscotch And then I'm going to conceal with my usual, the ColourPop concealer. So for my contour today, I'm going to go in, look, it's almost gone. I'm going to go in with my NW50 Studio Fix Powder. And I'm going to use that to contour. I'm using something a little lighter this time because the foundation is like a lot darker. So I'm not using something as dark as my Anastasia um, Beverly Hills and Mahogany. That one's like really rich in color. And I feel like um, the foundation's already a little bit warmer today. For a blush, I'm just going to use um, this... Desert Rose, this is by the brand Note Cosmetics, I think. It just says Note on it. It's more like a corally color. Um, I wanted to do Sweetest Cocoa, but I couldn't find it, so. This is what we're gonna use. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna use um, Gold Deposit. This is by MAC, and I'm just taking my what is this, an F42 fan brush? This is by Sigma. And then I'm just gonna go over that with uh, Soulmate by Dose of Colors and I Love Sada And just pop that like right here. The reason I mix them, well, I don't need a reason to mix them because I always mix my highlighters, but the um, Soul Me is just a little bit too uh, like silvery for me. And I like the color, it's just a little bit too silvery. And now I'm gonna go in with uh, Wonderlust. I should know these names by now. I'm gonna go in with Paquito Mask, which is this like iridescent shade right here. And I'm gonna take a small 228 brush by MAC and I'm just gonna pop that in the inner tear duct. So 
for lips, I'm gonna go in with um, Max Cork Lip Pencil. And then I'm just gonna take Brillo. This is by um, I Love Saturday and Doso Colors. And this is a lip gloss, not a liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Brillo. This smells good. So now we're just gonna go in with that ColourPop setting spray and just set everything. Don't forget to shake it up. All right guys, so that completes this look. Um, I hope you liked it. Please leave me a comment. Let me know you were here. Let me know if there's any other looks you wanted me to do with the Dose of Colors I Love Setting Heat palette. Um, other than that, I don't think I have anything else to say. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> guys, so, oh, keep looking at myself. Look at the camera, look at the camera for again. This bun is like literally dictating my life. This bun is dictating my life.